Hi everyone, this is Minx Laura123. So I am going to be doing a vlog for you now. I haven't done a vlog for ages. Um, and it's uh, something I like to do. I think vlogs are a great way of uh, expressing how you think, how you feel. And I think they're very therapeutic. They're very relaxing to do from my point. You know, just sitting here with you talking, you know, uh, I just find it really nice to do. And I think vlogs can really help people as well in the way that, you know, you sometimes feel like you're alone with your issue, with your problem. And then when you sit and watch uh, someone talking about the same thing, it makes you feel less alone and, and that alone can help, you know. Um, but yeah, the subject of this vlog is going to be obsessive compulsive disorder, otherwise known as OCD. So do you suffer from OCD? Do you know somebody who suffers from OCD? Me? Yeah, I definitely suffer from OCD and it's horrible. Um, I'm laughing, but if I don't laugh, I would cry about it. So I always think laughter is better than tears, but um, it's really taken over my life ever since I was a young girl um, and I'm now 34 and it's still kind of there. It's still like... Um, for me, when it comes to OCD, I am both a very obsessive person. I get obsessed with things to a point where it's just sometimes too much. Like it really, it really upsets me that um, something takes over my head, my thought process, my actions, to a point where it's just all I can think about. And that could be a TV show or a music band or whatever it's just like I like something and then I just get obsessed with it like physically obsessed um, and I suppose if if I'm honest yeah I, I'm slightly more than slightly obsessed with ASMR um, if I'm not making videos I'm watching videos if I'm not watching videos I'm thinking about future videos if I'm not doing that, I'm out buying props for videos. Um, or I'm on Facebook talking to people about ASMR. Um, it's it's kind of nice because, you know, it's something that I like. It makes me smile. It makes me happy. But in the other kind of flip side, it's like, oh, wish I could stop thinking about it. Wish I could just stop it. Um, but I've always been this way. You know, for example, there was a film out many years ago called P.S. I Love You and Gerard Butler in and uh, amazing film, amazing film. But I was like completely mega obsessed with it. I saw it about 10 times at the cinema. Um, and then I got it on DVD and I was watching it all the time, listening to the soundtrack, reading up about the characters and, you know, the actors and just anything to do with this film was like major obsession um and yeah ever since i was a kid i've kind of been the same if i find something that i like i get obsessed with it um so yeah i think in that respect it's it you know it does affect me in the fact that sometimes i don't want to think about these certain subjects and i physically can't help thinking about them because it takes over uh, my mind um, and I also get it in the fact that I check things constantly checking um, if I send a text message I have to check it 10 times that's literally write the message out well, not write but type um, and then read through once twice third, etc um, until I've checked it 10 times and then I can send Okay, um, and also if like you know electrical things, I have to check they're turned off ten times. Um, you know doors, make sure the doors are shut and locked properly ten times. It seems to be for me connection with the number ten when I check things, um, and through research I've done on OCD, it's uh, a popular thing that people do have that, and it's always kind of around a number that they have like an OCD with. I don't know why the number 10. It'd be a lot easier for me if it was number three, but no, it's number 10. So it's kind of like if I don't check, 
that amount of times I just get really anxious, really stressed, really angry and sad and all these emotions, literally if I don't check something. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of something that I try and make fun of, you know, I'd be like, oh, it's okay, it's me OCD, ha ha ha. Um, because I'm a bit of a clown, I'm a bit of a joker, and I kind of escape, you know, all the deep uh, depressing issues of myself with, you know, trying to cover it and mask it with being funny about it, making light of something dark, I suppose. Um, but I don't know, I just, I, I'm i quite sad about it. I'm, well, I'm not quite, I'm very sad about it because it's... Uh, it's not nice to know that I've, I've got these issues and it does take over my life and you know sometimes it gets so bad that I just sit and get really upset and have a cry because I just think is this like am I going to have this forever am I going to constantly check things and be obsessed with things um so you know I, I basically I went on Facebook I've got my phone next to me here um and I put this as a status I said do you suffer from OCD uh, I want to do a vlog I haven't done one in ages yeah <laughs> focus on OCD if you do what does your OCD involve um, how long have you had trouble with OCD is it a secret or do other people know about it um, well, as I say it was a secret for a long while for me um, kind of hid it well um, but now I'm very open about it. As much as sometimes I wish I wasn't, I, I am. Um, uh, any advice to other people with OCD? And then I said, I'll read out all the comments from people in the video. Um, and then I put, thank you. And yes, I do have OCD myself. I am a very obsessive person and I constantly have to check things. Um, it's so frustrating. Seriously, just reading that back has wound me up because... It's like, you know, I'd like to think of myself as a strong character, even though, you know, I'm very sensitive and paranoid. Um, I'd like to think of a strong character in the way that I could just say, Laura, stop it. Stop, you know, obsessing over things and stop checking everything. But I can't. Like, I physically, I feel like I can't. I remember at school, my teachers used to say, there's no such word as can't, Laura. But, I, you know, I suppose this was a way out of something. I can always get better. It just feels like I can't, but I can. We all can. All of us OCD sufferers can get better from this. So um, I just want to read out the comments from people. Thank you so much to everyone for interacting. You know, these vlogs are great for, you know, people getting involved and helping others through their comments. Um, so first of all, Amy says, I also have a similar OCD as you. I always like to check if my electrical goods are off and I also have to check if I've locked the doors properly. Uh, Sid Whittaker says, I've sort of grown out of mine since childhood. Mine, sorry, not mind. Um, but I still have to touch every railing in fence of the local school I went to every time I pass it. And I still have everything squared up and pointing the right way on every surface. And the tins must all be facing outwards and the three towels must be aligned. Okay, the last bit about the towels, I was joking. Please tell me you've watched Sleeping With The Enemy. Great movie. I'm sorry I haven't watched that film. Um, but I do um, mention in the straightening thing, I definitely do that. If things are um, on a shelf at home or at work, I have to straighten it. Like if it's slanted, I have to straighten it. Um, it really annoys me because like my mum, bless her, she always like puts things on a slant, like an angle. Uh, like ornaments and stuff and I have to go around like straighten them up um, which is like you know if I don't do it I start to get really worked up um, and as for the touching thing totally get that don't know why I do it um, but I have to like I don't do it all the time but sometimes I just like touch things like li literally with my fingertip like a certain amount of times which uh, funny enough is 10 times with the number 10 um, but I have to like just press things, just touch things, really weird, like a, a door or a table or something. Um, Ayla ASMR says, I have OCD, officially diagnosed by a psychologist, but I kind of knew before. I have to touch certain things, light switches, door handles, 
yeah light switches is one of my main things actually um I always start walking on stairs with my left foot and hate when I don't end with my right. And when I'm tired, I blink really weird and it's an old habit. I used to bend my neck in a lot of times a day, so it got to the point where muscles hurt like hell. Um, I do know someone else actually who can only uh, like walk up the stairs like starting on this leg. Or if you get people who like put their shoes on, they have to put their first foot in, you know, it always has to be the right foot or whatever. Um, I don't tend to do that. It's not one of my, I don't know. Thinking about it now, I suppose I always do put my left shoe on first, but I don't, I don't think that's so silly. I think that's just the way I am. I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, okay, Tom Donaldson says, I did when I was younger, although I eventually managed to break out of it. So well done to you, Tom. Help us, please. How did you do it? Um, Michael says, I'm diagnosed with OCD. I've had problems with it for as long as I can remember. When I'm at my desk um, that has stuff on it, I have to have those things positioned in a perfect spot and have just the right amount of space around them. Spacing in general seems to take over my life. Like when type is spaced badly, it just makes me anxious I can't look at it I also have a problem with having to touch certain things having to check if something is locked or perfect over and over again ah Tom said that uh, he's not entirely sure what helped him he says I think it was just gradual I just kept trying to avoid it and over time it seemed to work although that's just me um yeah I've tried that I've tried the texting thing when I text I tried to cut it down by like one so I could just check the nine times next day the eight times but then the day after that I was like I can't do this I have to check ten times um, okay, Carla says, along with my anxiety, I have horrible OCD. It, it drives everyone I know nuts. I clean the house several times a day, clean the car. If I see dust or dirt, I go nuts. I also won't drink out of glasses or eat from silverware. And I use disinfectant wipes to wipe everything down if we eat out. I'm constantly checking on things. I've had this for about seven years and just getting worse. The advice which I the advice wish I had some only that maybe having a group session and sharing experiences we could all maybe help each other um, well hopefully Carla this you know can help people if you're reading along in the comments please comment on this video as well if you've got any advice or views um, yeah I did uh, have a friend who was like obsessed with cleaning and things like that and had to you know couldn't have any dirt anywhere and had to clean it all the time um, Okay, Candy says, I don't have OCD, but OCD tendencies, really odd things. I've seen others with severe OCD, and sometimes they're intolerant to be around, not poking fun at, just my own personal experience. So this is the thing, like, from someone who hasn't got OCD, um, I suppose, you know, it is quite irritating. And um, when I was younger, I had a friend who was really, really bad, and we'd literally get half up the street and she'd have to go back check the taps was off um, and then we'd go out and she'd have to come back again and it was it was really really bad um and i i do selfishly this sounds horrible now um maybe i've got a bit of karma for that thinking but i did used to think oh, you know come on we've already checked it they're turned off and now i'm just as bad really um but i suppose if you haven't got it and you don't understand it it must be a bit like what are you doing but if you've got it it's it's horrible. I mean, I try and, as I say, poke fun at myself and laugh about it. You know, if I'm with Nathan, one, two, three, and I'm having to check things, I'm like, sorry, babe, it's the OCD. But, it, you know, it's, it's not really a funny thing, but I think, as I say, that's how I deal with things. I try and, I try and make light of it. Um, Jerome says, I tend to hold my breath for too long, reaching a point I get dizzy just because. OCD for the win. Okay, uh, no, I don't do that. I, I hate feeling dizzy, like I hate anything like headedness, dizziness, freaks me out. Um, Moon Girl gets up, yes I have OCD and it mostly keeps me from starting projects and or anything really. Everything's a battle of everything having to be perfect. This is why I have why I don't edit, therapeutic for me. Most people can't finish things or stop doing things. I have trouble starting um, and I've, I find that sad because you know if you it is affecting your life like it is and you know it does affect mine as well in that way that I want to do something but I just think no I can't because the hassle that comes with it is not worth it and then you lose out on doing a project 
Um, and uh, it's it's not easy. It is a battle. Exactly. That's how I feel. We are battling this OCD thing. Um, Morris says, I've since had therapy to deal with it and lessen its effects, but when I was younger, my OCD controlled my life. I feel there are a lot of misconceptions about OCD, so when I get home from work, I'll leave a proper comment. I'm just scrolled down and you didn't. Um, okay, uh, and Ellie says, Laura, I've been waiting for a post like this. Uh, this is Petite Elephant. Um, I believe I had my I can't say this word, I'm sorry, myosophobia, uh, also known more generally as germophobia. I have to wash my face before I eat, wash my feet before I enter my room, or wear my slippers around, which I might add, I wash my feet before putting them inside. My feet never touch the floor. If they do, it's usually because I've had to put on normal shoes to go out i.e. and after said activity i wash my feet and get back into my slippers my body must be clean to sit on get into my bed including my feet i also must wash my hands a certain amount of times hand washing occurs every time i've done something that my brain seems seems as contaminating i eat everything including touching almost any object and asmr Henrik says i do have OCD. Um, I will add, there was a fantastic few comments left by Amanda Whisper Sparkles, um, and I've looked through and I can't find it on here, and I'm really upset because her comments were um, really helpful and, and, and really kind of opening up about her problems with OCD. Um, I think it was obviously she changed her Facebook and she made a new account, etc. Um, and so I haven't got her old account which she wrote on. On here um, maybe if you're watching Amanda um, or I'll message on Facebook you can uh, comment underneath because what you were saying could really help people and, and it was great to know your opinions on OCD so um, but yeah I mean that's that's kind of like in a nutshell um, so many people got it so many people having to deal with this OCD problem um, how do we get through it how do you stop yourself being obsessed? How do you stop yourself checking? You know, is it like Tom said, do you just kind of, you know, say no to yourself, stop doing it until it registers in your mind that you have to stop doing it? Um, I don't know if I had the answers, I wouldn't, wouldn't be suffering from it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. With my obsession side of it, um, for example, with the whole ASMR thing, I'm trying to kind of wean myself away. I'm not letting myself film every single day, five videos a day. Um, so I've kind of, this is a channel update as well, just thrown in the mix here. Um, but I'm going to be doing the videos, uh, you know, uploading here on my channel only three days a week now. And that is Monday, Thursday and Sunday. Um, so that way, you know, there's still loads of videos, there's still a load of content, plus I've got like loads of videos that you can watch that have been there ages. Um, but it just helps me with my obsessiveness, calms it down a bit because I am obsessed. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was trying not to hiccup then. Um, and yeah, I think to have a more kind of scheduled, uh, you know, must only do this amount, no more. It will help me um but uh and also i think if i post too much i just get sick of me be like oh she's back again on me news feed i don't want to see her again um news feed no that's facebook what is it on here subscriptions oh you know what i mean um okay that was weird Okay, so I'm going to tell you something spooky right now, nothing to do with OCD. I'm recording this in work, you can probably see from my, my backdrop, I'm in my office. Um, and my key is in the door, because there's no one here and I like to feel safe. Um, and it's just kind of twisted round. Did you hear that little clicky sounds like... <coughs> but there's no one there. Okay, that's really weird. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Back to the subject of OCD. Um, but yeah, um, 
I just I want I want to help myself. I want to get better with OCD. I want you to get better with OCD. Um, and I, I just think that if anyone has got any tips, advice, information that can help people, um, we can help each other. We can get together and be like, hey, OCD, you are not going to beat us. We will beat you. I don't know why I'm talking in American accent. I don't know why. But um, anyway, so this is the end of the video. Sorry, it's been a bit strange. Um, but you know i just think that um my last words on ocd will be that you know you can get through it and we just need to figure out how and once we do let's help each other get through it um and yeah thank you for watching please please comment below your comments are really um you know really needed especially with something like this where you can help other people and help me obviously <laughs> um and you know i always reply to every one of my comments um and i always will i know that sounds really but it's true like it really annoys me if like i leave a comment for someone and they just ignore me like it really upsets me and annoys me because i reply to every comment <laughs> anyway thank you for watching that's nothing to do with ocd i'm just having a little rant the minx laura one two three little rant um but yeah thank you and i hope that this video has helped you bye